All right, let's uh, implement our first CRUD method, create, uh, which we're gonna implement uh, by pushing uh, to the Firebase. All right, so the, the most important part from this lesson uh, is for you to understand the, the data model that Firebase uses. Uh, it's gonna underpin pretty much everything we do. Uh, so, so it's, it's pretty, really pretty important. So first thing to realize is that everything uh, in Firebase is stored in, in JSON, right? So uh, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Uh, and what you need to, to realize from this is that it's it's a format uh, that we're going to use uh, to, to send and to store objects, right? So that's the key thing in there is, is the O, right, for, for object. Um, and under the hood, it's using a map to represent different objects. So so it has, you know, sort of these, these pairs here, um, field name, uh, colon value. And you can see these guys um, right here. So, so uh, we have an object for a movie quote right here. And this has a, um, it has one key, um, which is movie. Uh, or a field name right here, and then it has a value, and then another field name, and then another value here. Okay, uh, all of these guys are stored uh, in a JSON tree, uh, so you can actually um, access them directly by URL path. So when we set up our um, our reference, uh, we set it up to be you know your username slash movie quotes firebaseio.com um, slash quotes. And that, that sort of put you right into, into this part um, inside the forge, right? So, so in, inside this data store, okay? Um, but if you had done the same thing, you know, slash quotes, slash uh, dash JNHQ, blah, 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 you know, this, this whole key right here, then it would, it would actually put you in the place um, where you were at that, that, particular, um, that particular object. So you can access this at really at any level, okay? Um, uh, so what it's going to do uh, is it needs to get data back and forth between uh, model objects and, and JSON. Uh, and, and to do that, it uses a library that's called Jackson. Um, lots of details if you want to learn about it. Uh, we just need to, to understand a little bit about it and some sort of key things um, for, to use it. Um, but certainly you can learn more if you'd like. Okay, um, So it'll do the serialization for us uh, if our model object sort of complies uh, to, to certain uh, requirements that the library has. Okay. So let's let's talk about those right, right now. Um, first thing, right, is that it's it's kind of interesting. If if you noticed here, the way that it's set up, um, the actual quotes are stored as key value pairs. So a Firebase key, and then the value is a movie quote right here. Um, but we want to to keep track of of the key within our model object, right? So so we're actually going to have a third thing. Ours is going to be movie quote key, and we want this key here to be stored sort of inside down down a level further as, as part of the model object um, so that we can we can cycle through different keys for instance uh, you know to find a, a proper one or whatever um, and we'll see that uh, in a little bit in firebase you notice like we said that the key is separate from from the object uh, so when we are sending um, our movie quotes back and forth uh, we want to tell Jackson to say you know what don't bundle up the key to send it because firebase already has the key um, so when when you're serializing this guy just ignore um, this key right here okay so we'll take care of setting and getting this key and we won't worry about um, doing too much uh, with with firebase there okay so the first thing is to put in the JSON ignore so let's do that before we forget so in here the key do at uh, JSON JSON ignore now you might wonder uh, when when we did that, it did an, an auto import for us here of JSON ignore, and you might wonder, well, this looks like an external library. Um, how come we didn't need to set that in our build.gradle? Uh, and again, so this is this is actually sort of transitively included uh, because Firebase is obviously using it. Um, so since we imported the Firebase library um, in our Gradle file, uh, we're also getting um, all the Jackson stuff. Yeah. So that's the first change. The second one, and that's that's a really important one here. Uh, it is a bug that has bit me, um, and w when it bit me, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, but Jackson also uh, requires us to have an an, an, an empty constructor, a default constructor right here. All right, so we're going to put this guy in uh, right now. Uh, go ahead and, and put yourself in a, a movie quote um, with new uh, parameters. Okay. You'll regret it otherwise. All right, so you see we already have a constructor with two parameters. Um, but public uh, movie quote, right? And we'll just say uh, required empty 
constructor for Firebase, right? Or for Jackson more, more specifically. All right. All right, good. And it says it's unused. That's okay. No big deal. Okay. Uh, one more thing that, that I'll just mention here is that um, we're choosing to do use the same uh, key, uh, the, the names up here for our fields on Firebase as we are on our, our, our backend, right? So, so they're called movie and quote here, and they're called movie and quote here. But if you really wanted to, to see some, some different names, um, you can actually uh, set that as well. So there's a little annotation here, JSON property, and you sort of tell it what it should be packaged up as in JSON, and then the actual field name in Java, right? So you could, you could use different names if you wanted to, if you insisted on using the ends, for instance, in your model objects, uh, you know, no, no big deal. Okay. All right, that's all we need. So we've done actually the hard part for this, right? So if you understand a little bit about what's going on as far as how, how we're storing things, um, let's see how to push um, data to, to Firebase, okay? So we're gonna do our create, and it turns out that there is a, excuse me, there is a, a push method here. And if you take your, your quotes reference and you call push on it, then that's gonna create a new key, all right? Um, and like I said, it encodes the timestamp um, into it. They have a whole a whole reference as far as how they actually create their keys. It's kind of neat. Um, but basically, it's going to make this key and it's going to return a Firebase reference to it, so you can chain it together. So this guy right here uh, returns a Firebase reference, and then we can call set value on that. Okay, so it's going to return a new one of these guys. So here's my new one right here. There's the key, and if I want to set its value, then I just pass in a movie quote. And this is very cool. So this is using the serialization. So I'm 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 going to be um, passing in a, a model object, and it's going to turn it into JSON for me because this this actually needs uh, needs uh, you know the JSON format to to do that. So all we're going to do uh, to wrap up this lesson is to go ahead and type in that 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 one line, and then we're going to see the back end change, and it won't update our client uh, quite yet. That's going to be the next lesson. All right. So inside my adapter, uh, find your to dos. Okay, so one of the to dos is going to be for for add, right? And feel free if you guys if you just want to uh, comment this out for now. So, um, so when someone actually adds something, then we're going to uh, take our reference, we're going to call push, get a new key, and then from this we're going to set value uh, that movie quote uh, that was passed into us. And if we run it, we shouldn't see any change uh, locally, right? So we're saying add it, and it's not going to appear. Um, because we're we're sort of taking out um, the the code that 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 modifies the array itself. This code is going to come back, but not here. All right, so loaded things up, uh, and let's see. I'm going to clean this up a little bit here, so I'll, I'll get rid of this um, this Empire Strikes Back quote, uh, and let's go ahead and make a, a new quote here. All right, and actually, um, I'm blanking out right now, so I'm going to go ahead and pretty much use the same quote here. So, um, I am your father, comma, Luke. Whoops, Luke. Uh, and then we'll we'll enter our title. And again, that's that's the Empire Strikes Back. All right, and what I'm looking for it to do uh, when I click OK is to appear over on this side. So let's let's see this show up. Yep, there it goes, and instantly uh, we have it over here in our forge. Like we said, uh, we have no reason to believe that it, that it would appear here yet because we haven't told our up uh, our adapter that that we added anything, and we certainly haven't gotten any updates from Firebase the way that we've done it so far. Uh, but that'll be our next lesson. So come back, uh, jump right in. Mm -hmm.